Okay, so welcome everybody to our one year birthday bash. So we started the very first Zooming on March 18th. I'm going to have a little bit of a prepared uh, talk about our growth, but uh, I thought that I would start with a song. So if that's all right with you all. All right. Baba, oh Baba, I'm making inside to be closer to you, to walk by your side. Baba, oh Baba, won't you help me to see that you're as close to me as I Patricia Cavanaugh. So for those who don't know me, my name is Angela Lee Chen. I'm the coordinator of Baba Zoom. I thought that today I would read some prepared remarks, so pardon me if I'm reading. And then from there we'll uh, open it up to, uh, to any shares. It could be musical, it could be a comment, and uh, the theme of course is what this year has been like for you on Zoom, off Zoom. It's, it's all Fair game, <laughs> J. Baba. Mayor Baba is quoted in Lord Meher as having said, I am preparing a way for people so that they will be able to live a life of truth. There's no religion higher than love. Love is the only way leading to truth and God realization. I don't know anything about God realization, but it resonates innately that everything boils down to love. Only the love is real. Everything else is a passing shadow. For me, the past year has been a living example of just that. Maya took some freakish liberties with our lives this year. Obviously, the pandemic is the biggest news, stopping the whole world in its tracks with intense anxiety. In the US, health recommendations became political differences. George Floyd was killed. There were riots in Oregon. 
It was a year of summer fires and a snowy winter that took out power in unexpected places. And who could forget the crazy election season? Our veil of tears has been unrelentingly intense this year. On the other hand, Baba showed us a silver lining. I recognize that those early weeks when we were all strictly quarantined represented a break in our normal schedules that could be filled with a new community activity. I started with one tentative Zoom session on March 18th, 2020, simply to discuss the pandemic together. It was sweet and appreciated by the 20 in attendance. That same week, I talked Jeff Welverton into hosting his Effort and Grace discussion group on Zoom at the exact same time that it used to be held in person, a mere four days later. With very little advance notice, the first Effort and Grace was attended by over 70 people from all over the country and beyond. Still faithfully attended by 40 to 50 people week in and week out, now for 52 weeks, the Effort and Grace group has become a family of its own. The next day, March 23rd, 2020, was the first of now a year's worth of virtual RT, inspired by the way prayers and sharing is performed at the Samadhi. There are still anchor events twice a day on the Baba Zoom calendar. For me personally, RT has been a lifesaver, keeping me grounded in Baba despite Maya's best efforts to distract with two hours or more of stirring poetry, music, prayers, and readings in remembrance of Baba every single day. So many regulars from around the world attend and participate that we have also become a close-knit RT family and even have a t-shirt. Join us anytime. There's always more love to go around. The early months were a time when every morning would bring a new meeting idea for this new medium. I was compelled from within to act on the idea the same day, conscripting perfectly innocent bystanders who were willing to be trained and put to work. I see quite a few of you attending today who know exactly what I'm talking about. The exhilaration of those days is hard to describe. From the time I first came to Baba, I've been drawn to organizing Baba meetings. I've been involved with the Northeast Gathering for almost 20 years, had a stint as president of Meher Baba House in New York, almost a decade on the board of the Heartland Center in Oklahoma. I've helped with the Southeast Gathering and the Asheville Music Sahavas, and most recently was on the board of the Circle of Friends. Baba was always supportive, but never before has there been so much support for my little efforts. A little idea that Baba planted in my heart is suddenly bringing so many people together from far-flung places initially started merely to bring people together without fear of getting sick, these meetings quickly manifested larger aspirations that we would be able to meet as a community of his lovers unhampered by geographic separation, that people who haven't seen each other in years might find each other again, that meetings would be less about a single person telling us how it was and more about all of us sharing our living experience of how it is to be in Baba's fold and that we could even have deep and meaningful conversation about and experience of coming closer to Baba. Baba turned the key to bring enough attendees, enough volunteer hosts, organizers, musicians, even theater players, and above all us, open the rivers of love to flow between us and Baba. These qualities are what make Baba Zoom so exciting. There's plenty of room to grow and plenty of room for you to shape our community's future. If you simply want to participate, Baba Zoom thrives on your love. If you would like to host meetings, there's plenty of opportunity. And if you only have a meeting idea, we can help make it happen. There's nothing more important to do in life but to remember Baba. We can remember him more and more every day to the exclusion of Maya's competing tugs. And for these precious moments when we meet, we are all his love. We are his hands, his heart, and also his eyes and ears to witness. Nothing we can do in this world is more important than remembering him. It is our living love for Baba that brings him here amongst us. And it is our enjoyment of his company that connects us all in his all-encompassing embrace. Victory unto him. 
I now invite all of you to share your experiences of this year, both on and off Zoom. Ruth, if you'd like to take over. Thank you, Angela. That was beautiful. You just, uh, there's nothing more to be said. Victory unto him. Jay, Baba, Angela, we're so grateful. Baba planted that little seed and you have been through his love, watering it with your attention and your kindness and your encouragement. I'm going to not say anything else because others have things to say, but you know, my heart is with you, Angela, through Baba. Thank you so much for everything, Baba. Michael, your hand is up first. Yeah. Oh, Angela, that was beautiful. You said it so well. It's, oh, wow. And you set it up so well with Baba. You are just a wonder zoomy woman. Wonder woman zoomy or wonder zoomy woman. A wower, wower. Both of you are. And I want to sing a birthday song to Baba, to the Zoom. And to both uh, to Roshni and to you, yeah, for the year. So this baby is one year old. And uh, here comes the song. Yom uledet, yom uledet, hasimcha rabba rabba, eze yopi chag sameha, vetoda rabba. Ken nizke le od arbe shanim, be'avato shel baba nifla'a. Oh, avatar, meo baba, ki jay, and evermore. And I want you to, to know how out I joined it. Okay, because we have East, we have West, and we have Middle East, right? So um, I was, um, when, the, when the Samadhi was closed, and uh, after some time, because I do RT in, um, here in my house in Israel, and um, I was thinking that Baba was missing the singing in the portico of the Samadhi. And because the singing after the RT is uh, sharing of the hearts of every lover, so, because the RT is RT, is Baba's RT, but the sharing is sharing is of love in the Samadhi, and it was daily, twice a day. So, I was feeling sad for Baba that he was missing all these songs. So, I started singing every RT to add to the RT. I also added singing. And then I heard there was the RT in, in the Zoom. And I said, wow, I must join this. So, but I'm not a techie. And, um, my, uh, I don't know how to do that. So uh, my um, grandson had a bar mitzvah and he, he is in London. So they Zoomed us, they Zoomed all the family. And that's how I got to Zoom. And that's how I joined um, this wonderful Zoom. And I've been uh, watching Angela since she was a little girl, a wee little girl in, in New York. And um, through um, Joe, through Joe's work, because it is was always on on the art on the internet, and Joe Joe Stewart's work. So I was saying, oh, this wonderful lady, she's doing beautiful things there, very very creative. And then she disappeared. I said, where did that girl disappear to? And then um, suddenly she appears in uh, in this uh, Zoom. It, no, actually, she appeared in Facebook. She appeared in Facebook, and there was a great row about the Sufis. Yes, Sufis, no, and are we together? Are we one family? Do we believe in Baba in the same way or not? And she was all heart. And um, I said, wow, I like that girl. I like the way she thinks. I like the way she does things. And then the Zoom. And the Zoom is so much... Um, is so much from um, coming from, from her uh, idea and from her conception of wholeness and love and acceptance and togetherness and um, that we are all one. And it's so much felt and so much creativity, but mainly this humanity, this humanity that we are one. And here we are, East and West and Middle East. And those who, who do know how to sing and those who don't know how to sing and we all we all and 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 we all come and sing because when Baba tells us to sing we sing so Angela it's a wower Baba it's a wower Roshni it's a wower and just meeting all these people here that I never met before I never met any one of you and just it's such a heart full experience 
and such a joy and such a beauty that Baba has brought me to know all of you and to be with all of you. And thank you, Baba. He's just wonderful. And he all did that through his uh, alphabet board by being silent and just doing the alphabet board. And now we are all doing the alphabet board. Oh, Baba Tao, Mel Baba, KJ, happy, happy birthday. May it go on. Jay Baba, you said that so beautifully. Jay Baba, Jay Baba, everybody. First of all, <laughs> happy Noruz. And uh, this is so wonderful to be here. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Roshani. The, all these Zoom meetings have been a Baba blessing to us all. But um, I just want to tell you that from my heart, like Angela from New York, she, she has been laying the groundwork. All her meetings, we would just go and enjoy every single one. And it started all there, you know, and um, just before the pandemic happened, um, Baba put me in a spin health wise. And at the same time, it was interesting. My niece, Anita, she just had a baby and she was going through some, some stuff herself, but it was interesting, both of us, we're sharing the same kind of um, path, like whatever she was feeling, I was feeling and uh, going back and forth. And um, it was through these Zoom meetings that I found my strength. Um, I felt so disconnected with everybody, but these um, meetings, I would go one by one, Angela holding, get Jeff, Tina, just they gave me such uh, feeling of closeness that I had never felt before. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was beautiful. And um, I just want to say it's Angela has inspired me in so many ways. And um, <sighs> we started our uh, Persian meetings, the Baba Farsi meetings, because many people could not speak English. And um, it started extending to Iran. People in Iran feeling um, isolated, um, you know, closed in. And there were so many other things uh, happening, the political issues that they, they were not, uh, they couldn't uh, have their voice heard. Um, so these meetings allowed them a, a groundwork for them to come and just, you know, share their feelings and be there and feel Baba's presence in their life. And it, it just, um, as I say, it's been a blessing. And my niece, what she's doing, you know, um, the, through the experience she's had that um, she started like a daily journal, um, putting Baba's words. She comes and listens to Jeff's uh, Effort and Grace meetings. And it has had such an impact on her life. She was born in a Baba lover family, but Baba really resonated so much that she's doing this every day she's writing and um, soon we're gonna have a website and she's gonna be posting her stuff there sharing all that love you know it she puts it uh, baba's words and cbt cognitive behavior therapy all together so it all makes so much sense and it's interesting that whoever reads it says oh it was like it was for them it's what they're going through so as I say, um, thank you. Thank you so much. And for today, I want to read, read Hafez, a very special poem. That's for new beginnings, new starts. And that's what this is, new start. J Baba. Biya ta gul baraf shanim o me dar sa garandazi. Falak ra sakh bishkafim o tarhi no darandazi. اگر غم لشکر انگیزد که خون عاشقان ریزد من و ساقی به هم تازیم و بنیادش براندازیم I'm just going to give a brief um, definition it says let's bring out the flowers and put wine in the glasses let's open up the sky and start a new design and that's what this is. Then it says, if sorrow is to raise an army, me and God will get together and destroy its very foundation. 
Thank you. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Meher Naz, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. I know Angela's heart is going to be overflowing by the time this is all complete. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Angela. Thank you for your service. You know, this has been a realization for me. You know, I used to host, you know, with primitive, primitive technology listservs and bow chats and web pages and everything, but it was always difficult for people to connect. It was always a challenge. And when Zoom came along and it allowed people to easily connect and share and to actually watch people who wrote the music and watch them perform and not have to travel someplace to do that. It's been wonderful. So I wanted to uh, thank everybody for sharing their poems and music and readings. And um, it's really been wonderful to connect and, and meet new people. So I'd like to play a song. Uh, Angela said it's all about love and it brought up and reminded me of, of this song. You can show me the way Give me a sunny day But what does it mean without your love? And if I could travel far if I could touch the stars, where would I be without your love? Whenever I get to feel down and out, I think about what you said and then I give up. If I could fly away If I could sail away Where would I go without your love? You told us in your special way To chant your name every day That I will be with your love If I could travel far If I could touch the star Where would I be without your love? And if I ever wander away too far You'd come looking for me with open eyes If I could fly away, if I could sail away, where would I go without your love? You're at the lowest level and you're above. You're in the seventh heaven and you're in love. You say it was just a whim There ain't a single thing Who wouldn't be without your love Where would I go Without your love J. Baba Hey, Baba. Perfect song. Just a perfect song for this morning. Oh, thank you, Joe. Bring you to our eyes. Martha? Yeah, that was one of my favorites. Joe, I think I even said to Joe, Joe, because we live near each other. I said, Joe, if I die, will, will you sing that at my, at my service? <laughs> He said, sure. <laughs> um, I just wanted to thank everybody. Um, 
all the hosts and the co-hosts and you know people that host um, effort and grace and 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 the music and just have so much gratitude for everybody. This um, Zoom has really um, it's brought me out of my shell a little bit. I was always a little bit shy to read. I, I think in the very beginning I would maybe read one line and you know say goodbye and you know now I, I'll read a whole poem or something you know it's remarkable so that's that's been a good thing and then I think it just keeps Baba in your focus all the time and you know I was never one to say arty in the morning or you know just I'd go down to the center and I'd have my books at home and and that was about it so this has really opened up an avenue of really learning more about Baba and um, I'm not a singer, so it's opened up uh, the ability for me to um, read a little bit more poetry with understanding and uh, just so much gratitude for everybody. And um, I don't know how I would have gotten through this pandemic out here in my back 40 all by myself without this family. So thank you so much. And I have to leave because I have a date with my grandson. <laughs> so, Jay Baba, uh, I'll listen to you in my car. Jay Baba, Martha, we love you too. So glad to be part of this family and have you in it. Jay Baba. Michelle. Uh, you want to say on. something? Go on, you do. Oh, <laughs> what can I say? I discovered RT in May of 2020. And it was such a blessing and so beautiful to be with all of you. For a while it was morning and evening and now I've, I had to wean myself so I can get some things done. And, but it really got me through this time and I feel like it really nurtured my connection with Bob, it deepened things. And, um, you know, Bob has always been a create, obviously he's the main creative force, but all of you were, it was just such, oh God, I can't put into words the way I feel about, um, about the gift of this RT family. And I have to say that a few weeks into it, some of you know, I had this dream where I wasn't, wasn't I was in sp outer space. I have these experiences with Baba and I go to space, I'm in space. And he's there and Betty Lohman was there. And there were other people I didn't recognize, but Betty was there. And um, Baba said, this is very important. You guys are building, you are all building this grid. Oh, I can't, now I can't remember what he said. Uh, uh, something, a blanket of love around the planet of light, a grid of light and how important our work we were doing for him was. And I'm so grateful for all of you and new friends, old friends, and hearing, sharing the music and sharing with all of you. Um, so I would like to try to sing. And because this RT gave us, for me, it gave me many songs. And I thought that since this is the favorite, I think, of everybody's, I will share this one. Hari para from Allah, Akura must have got a kiss at dawn. Hari para from Allah, Akura must have got a kiss at dawn. Adonai. Adonai Eloheinu Avatar Avatar Mehababa Kiche Hare Pada Brahma Allah Ahura must have got a yes a dawn Hare Pada Matma Allah Ahura must have got a yes a dawn who Adonai Adonai Eloheinu 
Avatar. Avatar me her barbecue J. Avatar. Avatar me her barbecue J. Hari Paramatma Allah. Ahura Masakar Yezatan Hu. Hari Paramatma Allah. Ahura Masakar Yezatan Hu. Adonai. Adonai Elohenu. Avatar. Avatar may her Baba Kijay. Avatar, Avatar may have Baba Kijay, may hair, may hair Baba, may hair, may hair Baba, may hair, may hair Baba. Just, uh, yeah, thank you, Angela, for being his instrument. And I can't, yeah, it's so beautiful. And I guess Marvin has something to say. Jay yeah. Baba. Jay Baba. Uh, congratulations. You've created a palace and filled it with this broken down furniture, Baba's love. <laughs> Jay Baba. Jay Baba. <laughs> Uh, well said, both of you. <laughs> Jay Baba. Or good evening to you. Good, good evening going into night. <laughs> Jay Meher Baba. Jay Meher Baba. It's just so beautiful to be here with everyone. And uh, thank you, Baba, for uh, bringing us together. And thank you for continuously planting his seeds of love. And as Baba says, he plants these seeds in our weaknesses and not in our strengths. And this year has been a year of our weaknesses being, you know, panic-stricken buttons pressed, fervously accelerated and every possible adjective and verb that we can use. And my quarantine started in uh, almost uh, February itself with the year beginning with Baba's Prashad with a great uh, Humpty Dumpty fall at the Samadhi and came back with that lovely Prashad with a surgery and sitting up home and uh, just uh, felt so strong to go to that last Dhuni in March even uh, though against the medical advice and something said I had to go for this dhuni. And uh, Baba not only got me to go to the dhuni, but also lit it. And then as we just came back and landed on 14th of March, the government declared uh, that there would be a lockdown. 
and uh, exactly on the same day 18th of march as angela began 6:30 pm ist was the first live that i did of uh, you know just different things bringing my students and some you know uh, people on our facebook community and all together but even those sessions began with baba prayers baba name repetition jap and chanting with other little things that we worked on like gratitude and so on and uh, then we had our uh, monthly baba satsangs that were happening since last 8 years in my house and everybody was suddenly uh, you know on a stand still that oh my god now monthly satsang is not going to happen and i just had this okay i'm doing this zoom and let's ask if everybody can become a little tech savvy and most of them are elders you know old baba lovers who used to come home and i just put it on our constant companion family whatsapp group that would you all like to do a zoom baba satsang and we could do that on saturday and that's how on uh, 21st of march which was navroz and saturday last march is the first baba satsang uh, a full on baba satsang that happened online with uh, all who used to come home and it was lovely to see all our uh, elderly ones getting to you know get tech savvy, savvy in those two days what is zoom yeah ye kaise hota how to press that what to do that so there were these tech lessons in two three days that were going on and it, it just reminded me of baba flipping you know there is this video clip of baba flipping the alphabet board in quite a speed and it just reminded me of that image of you know how he is zipping through and accelerating this whole thing and that entire board as just now also uh, somebody mentioned we are on this alphabet board zooming every single day in his love and it was beautiful to you know know my other twin up there in the west and uh, noshirwan played that little uh baba love cupid and got us together and then in august uh, when we came to know of each other's events we thought might as well you know merge it and uh, 6:30 pm became 7:30 pm to get on time with the aarti and today we are back to 6:30 pm with the time change as we celebrate one year so such as baba's humor and such as baba's love i would like to read one quote which is on today's date pure love awakened through grace of the master is more valuable than any other stimulus that may be utilized by the aspirant such love not only combines in itself the merits of all disciplines but excels them all in its efficacy to lead the aspirant to the goal yogis in the himalayas with their long eyelashes and long beards meditating sitting in samadhi they too have not this love it is so precious the mother dies for her child supreme sacrifice yet it is not love heroes die for their country but that is not love love you know when you have love you cannot understand theoretically you have to experience it chai baba and with baba's grace and love we are experiencing this love in each other and in baba for this whole year and may this continue even when this period ends may our hearts throb and may we keep continuing to zoom in his love and however fast our life zooms may we still hold pause and relax in baba's love to come back to this community and hold each other's hands and tell each other in our own silent ways and offerings that you are not alone and that baba is there with us and thank you to baba for the seven realities meditation sessions which angela you know quickly agreed and we started them in october and they've come a long way with a beautiful intimate group and we hope that group also keeps growing in what we do and just thankful and indebted to baba for every breath he takes through each of us so thank you so much and avtar meher baba ki jai thank you all of you thank you thank you rash you said it all <laughs> you did say it all thank you so much we're so grateful We're so grateful for all that Baba has given through your enthusiasm and love for the beloved. 
Mayor Baba. Pegu the cat is up next. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, I'm so grateful to Angela for all she's done. And I, I knew she was a star back in New York when she was the president of Mayor Baba House. And it's just tremendous organizational skills and tech savvy and everything everybody said, but, uh, you know, this has been a lifesaver for me, quarantining alone and then breaking my leg. <laughs> hey, uh, so Baba's really put my feet to the fire, but with um, the support of the Zoom group, I, I don't feel like I'm alone. And, um, you know, I was thinking about Pegu the cat, and um, I actually wrote a song in between the arty this morning and um, this meeting. And um, I thought about the cat came back. You know that song? It's like a children's song, I guess. And so I rewrote it in an hour to um, uh, tailor it to Baba. And um, I hope it'll make you smile. When May Baba went to Guru Prasad, a Siamese cat came to visit God. She liked to roll on Baba's feet, and Mani gave her a bite to eat. And the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, they thought she was a goner, but she ju just couldn't stay away. Her owner, Uma, came over for a chat. <laughs> she, she said to Baba, give me my cat, Baba, gave her a great big hug. What can I do? He said with a shrug. And the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought she was a goner, but she just couldn't stay. Now she saw that, uh, Pe sorry, I'll go back. Pegu had caused her so much strife, but now she saw that cat changed her life. The cat came back the very next day, the cat the cat, cat, sorry, the cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but she just couldn't stay away. Everybody unmute and give me a meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Are so grateful to have you in the family that's for sure thank you and i'm so grateful for all of you and especially you ruthie love you so much love you al but anyway i want to say that i guess in the last year i've sang hundreds of songs and some of you or most of you might think that i'm a singer but truth be told the only time i ever sing especially baba songs is in india i've been there 27 times and my first time, 79, 80, I sang three songs to Mara, and that's all the singing I ever did. 
The only exception is when Bobby Bernstein gave a concert, she would always say, Al, come up and sing a song. So other than that, I never sang before this last year. So anyway, uh, Bobby, uh, the last two times I talked to her, she said, oh, wow, I just loved your song. I said, what song is that? She says, I can't remember anything about it, but I just loved it. So she called me a couple of days ago. She says, the only thing I can remember is Pig Fair. I said, oh, you mean who is the one who's the world's greatest wonder? It's Mayhem, Mayhem, Baba. And that's one of my favorite songs because I always sing it uh, Baba's birthday at the Amanaga group because they like the gestures and they like to hear Mayor Baba over and over again. Unfortunately, Baba's not here, so I'm not going to sing that song. So I thought, well, maybe I'll, you know, most Baba songs are either about love or longing. You know, they're either I'm happy with Baba song or what was me, what was me, where's my Baba? So I thought, oh, I, 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 I sang a Baba birthday song, uh, which is, um, Let's sing a birthday song to be loved, Baba. So today I was going to sing the original as I wrote it and sang it. Although I've sung hundreds of songs, I've only written tunes to about 10 at the most, but lyrics I'm pretty good at. So I did write, a, so for now, I, I keep changing my mind, but I did write a birthday song for Angela to the tune of Mrs. Brown, You Have a Lovely Daughter by Herman's Hermits. And by the way, Peter Noonan, the lead singer of Herman's Hermits, was born November 5th, 1947, the exact day that I and Michael McConkie were born. And hopefully Michael will be here May 1st for a concert. But anyway, today I have a poem celebrating our one year and 700th Zoom. And everyone's congratulating Angela. So this will be for Baba Zoom and Angela combined. And it might have been a song, which I can't remember the tune, so I'm just going to read it as a poem. And here it goes. Baba Zoom and Angela, here and there. Seems like she's most everywhere. On Zoom, she is beyond compare. She Zoom Zooms all day long. My favorite is Artie time. She looks so sweet and sings so fine. Her smile is always so benign. Her best of all is Artie time. She makes no effort to show grace. Programs run smooth with a steady pace. One year and 700 Zooms we've had so far. We party hard without a bar. She gently prods and compliments. You'd think the Zooms were heaven sent. Baba lovers come from near and far. Sing a cappella or with guitar. BJ, Ruth, Michelle, Ken and Joe sing songs, all shout Meher. Baba's love is everywhere and the joys on Zoom are beyond compare. We thank you, Angela, for all you've done, for the love, good cheer, and loads of fun. And I want to say one other thing. I get the Meher Baba Center newsletter every week with their, they call them uh, offerings and I hardly ever go into them but today it was on humor I thought oh wow I gotta see this they had Monty and they had the twins and Shireen was gonna tell her two favorite jokes that Baba always had her tell and I couldn't get into it so I'll try later on but if I can I'm gonna have to ask some of you to share some of those jokes with me so I think I've talked enough for now I'll just say thank you again let somebody else have their say Hey, Baba Al, the wordsmith, our wonderful poet in residence, and we do love your songs every time. So keep them coming, Al. Jay, Baba, brother. Uh, I am so used to having contact with a group of people, an audience, even an individual who I share my music with. Uh, the, this platform was uh, very foreign to me. Uh, I was very uncomfortable, uh, very self-conscious and uh, quite nervous. Uh, so uh, in July, I believe, and I, I overcame that in time and kind of dropped in to the opportunity. 
uh, with help from all of you. Uh, I must say that you folks are the most incredibly forgiving audience. <laughs> and uh, I uh, dearly appreciate that. You have no idea. So it was back in uh, July, I believe, that uh, Angela and I first discussed uh, doing a home concert. And the series had already started on Tuesdays at about 11 o'clock. And uh, so I said, yeah, I would like to do that. Uh, I think I have a little time to, to get uh, some tunes uh, sharpened uh, for the occasion uh, from the CD album, Step Into His Holy Play, Step Into His Fire, uh, Step Into His Holy Fire. September 1st it was. And uh, Ruth hosted it and it was a delightful experience. A um, Couple of months ago, uh, Angela and I were about the only ones left on uh, the chat and we had our little conversation and she had already invited me uh, to uh, do another house concert. And I said, you know, uh, I do have a couple of new songs, but I don't feel I'm quite ready. So uh, just maybe two or three weeks ago, here we are uh, chatting, we can see each other. And uh, she says, well, what about, are you, do you think you're ready for another house concert now? And I said to her, let's go for it. And I said, well, it, it needs to be before April 10th. And she said, well, how about leading off the series? <laughs> so that brought us to a Thursday night. Uh, and uh, Angela has uh, uh, placed a recording on uh, babazoom.net of that concert. If you didn't make it in person, you can go there. It's just baba-tube. No password is needed. It's uh, real easy to get to. So unknowingly, uh, I felt challenged by Angela to come up with yet another new tune, another song. And I just finished this a day or two uh, before Thursday. Um, I haven't had a, a lot of time to practice it. Uh, it was inspired by uh, Kitty Davy. It's called Only Love Prevails. Mm -hmm. Only love prevails. The soul of souls never fails. Cause only love prevails. The soul of souls never fails. Cause only love prevails. Only love prevails. At last, the thought machine will turn to ash. There's no more future, there's no more past. Mano Nash, Mano Nash is granted in a flash. Mano Nash is granted in a flash. With every breath, 
again. The sound of your name reverberates. This pathway to the heart is no mistake. When a delicate beat begins to percolate. When a delicate beat begins to percolate. A voyage for the hearty, let's take a chance. The captain signaled with just one glance. It's all aboard to journey's end. The beyond the beyond, just around the bend. The beyond, the beyond is just around the bend. Only love prevails. Only love prevails. The soul of soul. Cause only love prevails. Only love prevails. Jay Baba. Alan Ray Powell, thank you for such a beautiful map, Baba's map through Angela and to this day and to our captain, Jay Baba. Oh, you're so welcome. And uh, all credit goes to the captain, that's for sure. And <laughs> um, sorry for all those uh, glitches uh, in my uh, sharing of that, of that tune. Uh, next time, I'll have more, more opportunity to practice here and we'll get it yet. Thank you. Hey, Jay. Bob. Not to worry, sweet. That was beautiful. Mahu. Jay Baba. Hi, Jay Baba. Good morning. <laughs> Jay Baba. Uh, first, I like to say Happy No Ruse. Is a, today is a Persian New Year. Of course, uh, you know, we all know that. Not a leaf would fall of a tree without Baba's will. Okay, so and that's my inner conviction, and I'm sure that's for ev almost everyone. Um, so this gathering, this virtual gathering of being together and so forth, um, for me, is is was all by his design. You know, he laid out. Uh, for this long ago and you know we just switched from our localist point of view which was my issue to more of a 
oneness international uh, and global in globalist view, uh, which is so wonderful because when Baba says we are one, we are one in eternal reality, he's not kidding. <laughs> we are one. But you know, sometimes we limit ourselves. I'm the pioneer on that. Okay, I must confess, um, I was very localist for many years and served my community for over 20 years. Thank you to Baba for uh, giving me that opportunity and so forth. Um, but then he changed my life. And then he changed my life. Uh, such thing as this kind of gathering perfectly uh, fits me and I'm sure fits any, um, many people. And pandemic, to, in my opinion, is just an excuse. It, it was always an excuse for me, um, you know, when, when it came on by Baba, because, you know, he just needs to use with these elements and these events to be able to bring us home to, hey, get together, remember me, be with me, and so forth. And, and you know, pandemic was just a perfect staging for that. I so appreciate that. Uh, so uh, this Zoom meeting, which is the child Zoom, Baba Zoom, which is the child of circle of friends, um, perfectly, shaped up and now we, we are like uh, brothers and sisters and friends coming together in Baba's cause and remembering him. Uh, you know, how good is that? And of course, I like to acknowledge uh, people like Angela, like Ruth, like Cassandra, like Michelle who conducts to reading and, and all the people who have a regular weekly meetings or bi-weekly meetings have committed themselves to conduct those meetings for us and together with us, I like to acknowledge them and appreciate them. Um, Angela and Ruth, I think they have a perfect personality for this work. And um, it couldn't be better than that. It can't be me because I could be fiery at times. <laughs> But they're so calm, they're so accommodating, very loving, and, you know, Baba knows what he's doing, so he chose the perfect people for this cause. Uh, I like to read something from Baba that really uh, confirms uh, the presence and the existence of this Baba Zoom. And this is uh, something that I lived by uh, for a long time ago, and I like to acknowledge my a spiritual mentor Adele Walking that I was with her ever since I came to Baba in Los Angeles and then she moved to uh, Myrtle Beach. She would always remind me of this message. I always remember that. And so every time I, re I, I read this message, I remember her. And uh, so, you know, we would just, oh, man, well, let's read this message together. So anyway, this is, uh, I'm reading part of the last message on the alphabet board that uh, beloved Baba uh, gave. And I remember even Don Stevens later on emphasized on this so much. Um, anyway, so I just read the first part of it. He says, Baba says, there is no reason at all for any of you to worry. Baba was, Baba is, and Baba will always be eternally existent. Severance of external relations does not mean the termination of internal connections. It was only for establishing the internal connections that the external contacts have maintained till now. The time has now come for being bound in the chain of internal connections. Hence, external contact is no longer necessary. It is possible to establish the internal link by obeying Baba's orders. I give you all my blessings for strengthening these internal links. I am always with you and I am not away from you. I was, am, and will remain eternally with you. And it is for promoting this realization that I have 
severed external context, severed external context, mm -hmm. contact. This will enable all persons to realize truth by being bound to each other with internal lips. This is it, internal lips. So this is Baba's gift to us. What is he trying? It's my take, okay? So Baba is, you know, being his almighty Lord of love is helping us to establish these internal links within us and have an inner spiritual relationship with, with him. And these Zoom meetings, if we really give our hearts to it, if we attend to it regularly, at least several meetings just regularly every week, will help us establishing and creating these internal rings. And he's right, with this pandemic, he brought it down on purpose because no external contact is no longer necessary. Oh, Baba, you know? So uh, I'm so grateful to Baba. I'm so grateful to these Zoom meetings. And I must acknowledge that it has helped me so much with Baba's words, which I'm very grateful. I attend most every Baba meeting in the Zoom sessions that relates to his words. Sunday, I go to, uh, today I will go to listen to humanity in the afternoon. Tomorrow, effort and grace. Monday morning, 7.30 a.m., my time, God speaks. Then uh, every other uh, week, uh, uh, Richard Bloom now is doing wafers. He, uh, wafers. He, he finished nothing and everything. I mean, everything and nothing, I'm sorry, Baba's book. And then, um, then on Wednesday, we have nothing and everything by bow. And uh, Friday morning, I attend discourses. And this is despite of my very busy schedule, but I do my best to attend to these meetings because these are my opportunity that Bobo has provided. Beside other meetings and artists and so forth, when I can, I attend. But these Bobo's meetings with his words, I don't miss because I benefit a lot from it. And I am spreading those. I'm posting that on Facebook and Instagram regularly. So uh, thank you so much for celebrating this anniversary today. We must acknowledge, we, we must help you. Uh, people who are organizing it, please let us know how we can help, how I can help Mahu. Uh, I have many years of experience from the past, past from, from Baba's uh, grace and so forth. So I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you, Baba, and happy Nowruz again to all of you. Jay Baba. <laughs> Sorry if I talk a lot. <laughs> Jay Baba. No, Mahu, you hit the nail on the head. Thank you for bringing that quote about our internal links because we're watching it. We're living it right this moment, sister, and I'm grateful you're here. Jay Baba. And Fiche, our nightingale. Are you here? Yeah, Jai Baba, Jai Baba. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Mahu, very nicely said, and all our uh, speakers. And uh, I also would like to express my gratitude and thanks to Angela and the Baba Zoom team, team of uh, lovers. And uh, happy anniversary and Navroz. And uh, I uh, I started attending Zoom meetings uh, last year from July onwards. Initially, I had some uh, difficulty, but once I got it tuned, then I started enjoying it. And uh, uh, yeah, and Angela, thanks Angela for our encouraging me uh, to sing and talk. Uh, you say raise your hand and uh, encourage me so that way I learned to develop my skills also and uh, I was able to connect with all of you globally and that's so wonderful it's like uh, uh, 
attending uh, samadhi virtual samadhi uh, both time morning and evening singing bhajans and uh, see this satsang is so important uh, you bring down uh, god when uh, there is more than three people and they talk about god they sing about god and they sing uh, bhajans discussions so bhava's presence is there he he is very much there and we have all of us experienced this so that way really uh, zoom proved uh, so effective it has brought discipline in our uh, in my life <laughs> i have to attend the timings uh, uh, aarti time aarti i found uh, really very effective then uh, those reading groups uh, like uh, uh, god is speaks and all very powerful uh, it has a different uh, when we read together it has a different impact and uh, everyone shares their views so and uh, i uh, yeah you need not to travel anywhere you just sit here and you reach down to the the bedroom <laughs> and uh, even the bathroom <laughs> they talk from bathroom also <laughs> so it's a really very interesting and uh, means uh, in this time of pandemic uh, uh it has uh, given us a new aspect of uh, life and so i am very thankful and i feel that it will go on continuing like this and uh, uh, it will grow and it will touch more and more people and baba's love will grow through uh, zoom and i at the end i just sing a, a small song and uh, <clears throat> um, every day and every night every bed and every sigh i sing may hear your love song i sing may hear your love song may her baba your love song every day and every night everywhere and every side i sing may her your love song i sing may her your love song may her baba your love song I see my hair in my dream on the hills and falling a stream I see my hair in my dream on the hills and falling a stream everywhere I see your beauty everywhere I see your form every day and every night everywhere and every side i sing may hear your love song i sing may hear your love song may hear baba your love song thank you thank you jai baba <laughs> as always vj that was just sublime We're so grateful that you're with us brother. Keep coming. Thank with you. Songs. I haven't heard that. I think I have heard that. I don't know, but it was just gorgeous. Thank you. So grateful. Cassandra. Jay Baba sister. It's Jay Baba. Everybody. You know, I don't really know what to say. I I, I just want to say <laughs> I want to thank, you know, Angela especially and everyone who who participates in hosting and so forth. But more than anything, I want to help the people who attend. Uh the people who come here all the time and you're all so generous with each other and so sweet. Um uh, it it amazes me every time that Baba's heart can express so widely and so wildly. through all of you nutty people <laughs> all the wowers 
and the uh, the uh, the singers and the poetry readers and and everything that you do has meant so much for all of us. Uh, Angela, I, I hope you are able to take in the beauty of this worldwide community you've been you've had a hand in and uh, your generous and loving spirit and your patience beyond everything your patience <laughs> needs to be acknowledged so thank you thank you my dear ones and i hope we go on forever this is just the beginning right this is just the beginning jay baba jay baba cassandra so well said expressing our love for miss angela all right terry and diane hi everybody um i think ever since uh, we knew about this we've been thinking about our um our gratitude I, I think anniversaries allow a look back and in the rear view mirror i see this cacophony of faces from all over the world and Angela, I, I know you are incredibly humble and filled with humility um, and you give all the credit to Baba, but sometimes many of us don't listen to what Baba tells us to do, but you had the graciousness to listen. And one drop in the ocean created all of this and your steadfast leadership has guided it. And your chutzpah to uh, go off on your own because you knew it was heartfelt right, uh, was a lesson for all of us. And uh, I, I look at the faces here. I, we thank Marta Flores for bringing us to Baba Zoom. Uh, Seppi for bringing us to Baba. Um, Mahu, I don't know if you know this, but I'll never forget the time at the bookstore at the LA Center, I asked you, what makes you think he's God? And you were quiet for a moment. So that stuck in my mind. And you said, because he wouldn't know everything he knows if he wasn't God. And I think you said that to me about seven years ago and it has stuck with me. And I have friendships through this group now that are deeper and more profound than people I've known for my whole life. And it's because I think we speak authentically and we get these close-ups of each other. Um, and so all of our blemishes, all of our, all of our everything is right there. And it's incredible. And I'm gonna give a quote that I heard on the Grammys the other night, and it just stuck with me. I, I wrote it down and I feel like it's how it describes where I'm at right now. I haven't been waiting for this for my whole life. I've been preparing for it. And um, I, I think back, we, we came on, I think in September and in late October, we took a road trip to Zion and we would wake up every morning and uh, zoom into uh, RT and have our dinner in the little living room there and listen to RT. And you were there wherever we were going on our seven hour drive home. There were lots of meetings that day and we were all part of it. And the slow burn of getting to know you all and you getting to know us and take us in as individuals and a couple has meant the world. And your love for Terry on her birthday was off the charts because as Baba says, it's all about love and it's the biggest gift. Your care for our dog, um, <clears throat> all, all the difference in the world. And I don't know if you want to say anything. Well, I don't know that any of us have had community quite like this before, but this is, um, i it's so interesting because I race home from work. It used to be when my daughter was little, I would race home to be with her and I would walk through the door and, you know, it was like I was some kind of celebrity. And now I race home to do RT. It's like, it's incredible. It's like, I want to go home and I'll certainly be with Diane and the dogs, but be with you all. It's been such an amazing gift. And Angela, there really are no words, you know, like you really, um, 
you really take in Baba in your heart and you do exactly what you're supposed to do. And I just, I have so much gratitude to you. And of course, my Seppi, who brought us here to begin with, and Marta Flores, who brought us here to, to Zoom. And um, we're just in so much gratitude to you all, to Cassandra, to Ruth, to everybody. It's just been Mikhail and Rosalie. It's, it's just, I mean, I bring you with you with me into my day, all of you. It's like, it's an incredible experience. And I thank Baba so much, Jay Baba. And Jefferson Wolverton. Oh my God. You are a rock star. <laughs> and we are so blessed to have you as a mentor. And uh, always, always your stories rock us. Thank you, Jay Baba, everybody. Jay Baba. Um, so uh, I was just saying, this is a, a message that, that Wayne Myers uh, found in Lord May Hair. I don't know if it's been read, but uh, this is what Baba said in 1968. There will come a time. Someone else better read it. You know, Jeff, I was going to ask Wayne to read this next if he's oh, there. Oh, good. Yeah, because it's still Help, Wayne. Are you there, Wayne? <laughs> there. Can you unmute yourself? When Jeff cries, I cry, always. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can read? And thank you, Diane and Terry, for what you just shared. It represents this whole family. And yay, Marta. And every single person without naming. VJ, my goodness. To meet VJ. <laughs> all <laughs> through this last year. Okay, I'll read the quote. Thank you, Jeff. Mayor Baba said in 1968, there will come a time when your love will bring me to your own house, your own room. There will come a time when I will be seeing my lovers not at one place, but at thousands of places at one time. It is your love that can make it possible, Mayor Baba. Mm. Beautiful. Yes. We have something else to say. I think that you've been a very key part in a lot of Zoom programs. Okay, I will. <laughs> See all these cards? <laughs> these are probably approaching a hundred quotes from between effort and grace and late night chat. I've been doing effort and grace on YouTube and I'm gonna speak up for the invisibles on YouTube recordings. That community is incredible because the timing doesn't work for me on Sundays. That's when I have to walk my dog. She's very important. So I watch it late at night, both of them. But these are things I've paused because of YouTube and written down. There's a lot of roomy. <laughs> There are quotes from people on this Zoom who said the most profound things. Um, of course, a lot of Mayor Baba, Jeff stories, you name it. This is a treasure. So thank you for the, the uh, recordings. Um, there's a whole community out there <laughs> who watch the recordings. So we're part of the family too. And I know everybody on Effort and Grace because of that. Uh, and I love you all. Thank you so much. And I also want to just acknowledge Robin Vogel. So there's a legacy that goes back to what she did with um, inspiring, beings inspired to put Baba's stories uh, from uh, Baba's people telling their Baba story and also the, um, recording from the circle of friends when it was physical back, back in the day. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, Jay Baba. J. Baba Wayne. Have the quote again. Can we have the quote, the Baba quote again? Yes. Um, I put it in the chat. Um, Mayor Baba said in 1968, there will come a time when your love will bring me to your own house, your own room. There will come a time when I will be seeing my lovers, not at one place, but at thousands of places at one time. It is your love that can make it possible, Mayor Baba. 
um, in context, that was one of the many clues Baba dropped in late 1968 when they were planning the great Darshan. And the Mandali were saying, Baba, you're too, you're not well, please, please rethink this. It was one of those, it was that from that whole series of times he was dropping the clues. Jay Baba. Jay Baba Wayne, that was wonderful. Jay hey. Baba to all. Jay Baba to all. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So, Congratulations. Yeah. Angela. Mm -hmm. We have been attending this Zoom oh. meetings for a year now. Like in the March, we got a mail uh, from uh, Naushirwan uh, saying that uh, Angela is having this virtual Aarti this morning, evening. We thought this is just Aarti, I mean, maybe just do a prayer and just uh, uh, sing it Aarti, that's all. So, but <clears throat> uh, after a couple of weeks, we started attending and we saw that there are not just prayer, arti, but a lot of sharing from different people. And again, uh, when we saw the calendar, we saw that several different I mean, variety of programs all through the day. Yeah. Um, uh, probably we would have done everything <laughs> mm -hmm. all through the day, but yeah, because of work and all, we could only attend few, but, but we every really program uh, we enjoyed particularly uh, the programs, the concerts in the weekend and the Mandali sharings of, I mean, people sharing their experiences with the Mandali. I mean, we never got to listen to that. I mean, through those, I, I think any platform, we, we couldn't have that mm -hmm. opportunity to listen to those experiences. Yeah. yeah those, those were awesome. And, uh, and the late night chats with Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those are race. incredible. I mean, uh, we feel like it's a Mandali talking to us. Yeah. All the old Baba lovers who have been with uh, Baba, have seen Baba. We, yeah. we got to know their experiences. Yeah. Thanks this to amazing. Jeff. Yeah. Amazing. It's a yeah. treat. Yeah. Every week, every day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Angela. Jay Baba. Thank you, Angela. And uh, yeah. For me, like uh, when I when Angela offered me uh, hosting. I was like excited and then I was nervous because I was very shy to talk to anyone. So this hosting did really help me. It gave me confidence to talk with everyone. So I'm so grateful to Angela for all the love and encouragement. And, and thanks to all the wonderful hosts like Betty, Ruth, Cassandra, Priya, and uh, Joe and uh, Roshni and everyone like uh thanks to you all for the love and encouragement <laughs> yeah i mean i'm so grateful to angela <laughs> yeah for everything yeah we, thank you thank, thank you, you. Jay, baba. jay baba jay baba jay baba jay baba Shala jay it's been a pleasure getting to meet you and know you mm -hmm. and uh i know that um angela has been very grateful to you both for all your help we're just, uh, we're just so blessed. We're so blessed to have each other. Sophie? Hi. Hi, everyone said everything so eloquently and I'm so emotional. I'm not sure I have the words, but um, thank you, Angela. You were so welcoming to me. I thought you were family straight away. And then Roshni, I've been going to her seven realities now since I think November or December. I'm not quite sure every single week I've been able to make that. And Priya, our tea with Mira is so intimate and so delightful. And I'm looking here at old friends, new friends, and I just want to tell you how grateful I am. I do have two poems <laughs> I want to read if I can. So I'm not too emotional, they're, they're light. <laughs> so hopefully I won't be too weepy. St. Teresa of Avila, one of my favorite saints. Laughter came from every brick. Just these two words he spoke changed my life. Enjoy me. What a burden I thought I was to carry, a crucifix as did he. Love once said to me, I know a song, would you like to hear it? 
and laughter came from every brick in the street and from every pore in the sky. After a night of prayer, he changed my life when he sang, Enjoy Me. And there's just one other, which I think is very appropriate for our birthday and for spring. I will just say this, it's also Teresa of Avila. We bloomed in spring. Our bodies are the leaves of God. The apparent seasons of life and death, our eyes can suffer. But our souls, dear, I will just say this forthright, they are God himself. We will never perish unless he does. Jay Baba. One of the most beautiful things is all these amazing readers. People read these poems that just, I know Angela's going, that's exactly right. They just lift us up. Thank you so much. That was so beautiful. Jay Baba. Anthony. Hello. There we go. We're on. <laughs> Sorry, I was having trouble with that. Um, hi, everyone. Um, like Seppi, I, I was having a little bit of trouble finding the right right words, but I'm going to try to just let it let it flow. Uh, thank you so much, Angela, for having the love and the courage to to believe in us and to believe in this cause and everything that's been developing and and just believing in Baba and in the community. Um, and Jeff for effort and grace. I just, I think I've hit a little bit of a wall spiritually to where I just, I don't know. I felt like something had been stuck for a couple of years and I visited Mayhair Center on and off over the years. And I, I knew Baba was who he was, but it, it just, it didn't feel alive. It felt like just an intellectual understanding and recognition. And it's just something about Jeff and Angela's synergy together and effort and grace. It's just this, this love and this gentleness, you know, and of course that Bob is working through both of them and how everybody opens up and just flowers in their presence. And the things that come through them and through effort and grace after every one of those meetings, I just sit back and I feel all of these little stuck, confused, just places from over the years, just all coming undone. And I, I can't even describe what those places are. I can just feel them inside, just, um, you know, just the, the chains coming undone, the confusion turning to clarity, the frustration turning to ease, and just all of these things happening. Um, I've been so moved by it that at our spiritual center, a uh, temple of the universe that's had an intimate connection to Mayhir Center, I've gotten all of our friends together, anybody that's had any interest in Baba, and we've started a little group out at our place here where we're getting together every week and reading discourses and I'll I'll read our one of our good quotes from Effort and Grace and it's just um there's no words for it thank you all so much for sticking with this uh for sticking with us for taking time out of your schedules and your lives to um you know, to be here with us. It's made all the difference. So uh, thank you all so much, Jay Baba. Jay Baba, brother. Thank you. Right from the heart. So authentic. Mayor Baba. Marsha. Jay Baba. Hi, everybody. Um, that's hard to follow. <laughs> anyway, I have been visiting Myrtle Beach maybe once or twice a year, but like for just a week or so and then meeting people here and there, but never really feeling a part of the community, you know, until you guys invited me to a potluck and then um, an effort and grace meeting. And then now when I started tuning into your meetings, I was like, oh, I don't want to speak, you know, because I'm kind of like 
don't like to hear myself talk. So you made me come out of the class, I come out. <laughs> so anyway, I'm thankful to all of you and just being in touch with people all over the world. And uh, today I wrote something, it's kind of corny, but I got up, I'm starting a new art journal and I just sat down and I kind of feel like when I write or do art that like, we're all really lucky because I think it's Baba coming through us. So I started with saying new life journal, new beginnings, na nature studies, March 20th, 2021. And so I wrote the flowers, the trees, the birds and the bees, the quacking ducks, the honking geese, the coyote howls, the winsome breeze, the echo of chirping birds, and people gathered hither and there. All around life resounds to the first day of spring, the tiny sprouts popping out from the ground, the tips of the trees dressed in green, everything as it, as it should be, serene and in harmony. Let the healing begin. Take your position in Baba time and listen to the beat of the heart and step with the mind. Intuition is a rule to obey and service the way to what we have already known how to proceed on the way home. Mayor Baba via Marsha Mira Light 3, that's my other name that I use, a paintbrush indeed. So especially thankful and allowed to become free. We make our own cage. A caged bird free does not sing. Once freed, we choose not to go back and hike the trail of the new reality, love and bloom, the sacred road to God, victory unto thee. So. <laughs> wow. Take off. You're gonna have to I know if I show, this is my newest picture. I'm taking a online watercolor class. So when I talked about a journal, I'm starting a new thing with special watercolor paper, you know? So oh, that's anyway. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's, Wait, show it again, please. Can you see I don't have my uh, laptop? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I put it on speaker view so I could get it close up. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, thank you. It's like wow. taking this class from the Botanic Garden and it's like fabulous. But I, I want to show you one picture that I think is kind of really cool. I took a photograph of the, um, a pond with a bridge and it didn't come out like anything I expected. So I'm on the bridge and there's my dog and there's this odd bird that I've been watching. And um, so I've been painting this, it's kind of got in my mind and I'm kind of like part human and part coyote. <laughs> and it just came, but it's like, whoa, I'm just, I think I got this image stuck in my mind, but I just like, and so in tune with loving nature and everything and we're all so connected. So I better stop rambling. But that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Like every time I used to talk, I would think, oh, nobody wants to hear this stuff. You know, I was like embarrassed about myself, but I'm getting over that. So thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad um, because you've got so much to bring and share with us. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you. I love your work. I love your work. Just such contrast. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, in May, I'm going to be on uh, the Artist of the Month on the Tuesday night. That's so cool. I'm working on getting it together to show my work. It's like, makes me nervous. <laughs> anyway. Well, not to worry. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Jeff? Um, you know, it's funny. When uh, we were doing, we've been doing this effort in grace across the street at the Circle of Friends and and uh, then when Angela got this whole thing on Zoom, she kind of encouraged me to, to go on this medium. And of course, I had only done one, the closest I got to the tech world was one session of Skype with a buddy of mine, and that was it. So it was kind of, it was, you know, something unusual for me. I had to, took a bit of adjustment, but, uh, I just wanted to say, when I first went to India, I, you know, I, I hadn't been there before, and I was um, and trying to envision what the Mandi were like, and I thought they, they would be these great spiritual giants, because they'd spent their whole life with Baba, <clears throat> and I was a little bit uh, apprehensive, but when I got there, I was so relieved to find they were like my favorite aunts and uncles. You know, they were just very deeply human rather than spiritual. And, 
you know, they could have, and they took, they took us in and they were so personally interested in us and all our life and how we lived over here. And I mean, even Eric would say something like, yeah, I hope you feel, did you feel the vibes? You know, I mean, they would use even our terminology, but the beautiful thing is, is that they could have, they could have just gone into a, a, a privately and just thought of their life with Baba, but they turned that same one pointed focus that they had put on Baba for decades on us, you know, and I, you know, Baba, one of my favorite lines of Baba is where he says, everyone is first in importance and no one is second. And what they, what they brought about is this brotherly sisterly love for each other, not some high spiritual or transcendent state, but just caring for each other. And this has been beautiful that we have, you know, spent all this time together more than, uh, you know, more than most of us would have spent in, in Baba focus, you know, I mean, some people had meetings just once a month or once every holiday. And here it's several times a week. Everyone is focusing on Baba and it's, it's uh, very touching and it's hard to get through. You know, as you, as you get older, you feel more and more grateful. What we, and look at what Baba did. You know, this pandemic did not stop Baba. He, he found a way for us all to, come, to continue to come together even more richly than than probably before. So anyway, that's what I have to say. Okay. Thank you. I think that says it all, Jeff. That was very beautiful. Meher Prasad, would you like to say something? Yes. Um, you know, whatever Baba did uh, had eternal meaning and it had great truth i'm sure that we all found um, sometimes it takes time for us to uh, you know whatever baba did really was the you know there was great truth behind it and every word of his carried so much of meaning and truth and sometimes it takes us long time to discover it but um, i've realized that it had tremendous meaning um, and it was not whatever he said was not just applicable to that particular occasion but it had meaning forever so i wanted to read just one quote that he said during the east west gathering I'm sure all of you have read this, but I think it applies to, um, you know, all our Zoom meetings in effort and grace and, uh, you know, late nights and everything else. So the quote is this, and this is just one part of the East West Gathering quote. You have come from great distances, not for some convention or conference, but to enjoy my company and feel afresh my love in your hearts. It is a coming together of children of East and West in the house of their father. I'll read that again. You have come from great distances, not for some convention or conference, but to enjoy my company. and feel afresh my love in your hearts it is a coming together of children of east and west in the house of their father there can be nothing that is more closer to that quote in in all our zoom meetings you know it's a that is so perfectly apt uh, and displayed here with people from east and west and how in every single meeting we feel his love fresh uh, and thank you for you know everyone 
uh, in the family for you know making that feeling stronger and stronger say baba Jay baba. Jay baba so well said thank you mayor prasad that just that just hit it right there of course baba's words betty hey baba i was sure i couldn't say a word without dissolving into a puddle <laughs> i'm i'm our rt crybaby <laughs> but i think <laughs> Just a few things. Um, when I started, gosh, when, I don't even remember. It was quite a while ago. Um, I was scared too. I, you know, you start out black, <laughs> and you go to maybe say a few words. Um, uh, I, I, I want to give a shout out to Eugene Honey Bunny, who worked and worked with me with just the tech. He was incredibly patient, and I, I uh, yeah, I needed that. So, uh, but I feel like I overcame that and then I started singing. And then every RT was like, oh, that, I have to sing. I have to find a song. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've, I've grown to the point where I love singing and I totally attribute that to RT. Um, Angela, Angela has been such a, oh dear, Angela has been such a friend, so s steadfast and encouraging, um, and my God, you know, she has been to every artie that ever was. I, I'm just stunned by that, that uh, steadfastness. I have to take a break now and then, um, but by golly, she's, this is her baby, and it's, <laughs> and it's now a year old. You know, I think maybe in a year of this, I, I don't understand why so many more people aren't just dying to get here. And I think, I think in a year's time, it'll be like that. I think we may have to fight for a spot to sing in a year. So we're fortunate. We got in on the ground floor. Um, and I, yeah, that's, gosh, just Angela. Love you, <laughs> all of you, all of us. What a what a joy to be living in love like this. What an opportunity. <laughs> so, Jay Baba. <laughs> Jay Baba, living in love. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Yes, Jay Baba, beautiful Betty. Thank you. I love you, dear sister. <laughs> Likewise, aren't we lucky? Yeah. Uh. Rosalie, our Rosalie. Jay Baba. <laughs> Happy Jay Baba. Uh, I, I, when I, one of the things I love, I like the worldwide Baba family. And that's what I felt when I went to India. I didn't feel sectional groups, you know, it was like, <laughs> And I really feel the pandemic, you know, it put the lid on us. And uh, and I, I uh, you know, the grace that Baba gave Angela, the grace to spearhead it, you know, because uh, uh, first of all, it's not the great, easiest thing in the United States of America as a woman to spearhead things. You know, I mean, it has, uh, yeah, that's my, I have very strong feelings about it. But uh, anyway, um, as far as uh, the whole Zoom thing, uh, if Baba had not come first before the Zooming started and all this technology, uh, it would have killed me, just killed me, this technology. I find no charm in it, zero. So, but I remember sitting in Los Angeles, listening to a fifth plane saint and how I know he was fifth plane because Baba said he was. Manly Palmer Hall 
and he said, if computerization isn't given moral direction, it will be worse than mega atom bombs going off. So here we are focused on Baba, say, you know, with all this really ungodly stuff going on. I mean, the world is, like Baba said, all, all this worldwide confusion and chaos was inevitable. Well, it's here. What had to happen has happened. What has to happen will happen. There was and is no way out except through my coming in your midst. I had to come. And I also, I, I love, uh, so anyway, Baba plunked me over here from the West Coast. I like the West Coast. I, I, I love being, uh, growing up around in Baba, around Phyllis Frederick, very democratic. So now I'm over here. So uh, I also love, okay, it shut things down in a way, but uh, everything is being shuffled. Everything is being shuffled. And I particularly felt wonderful about, uh, because of this Zoom and because someone had took the initiative, um, it's, it's going to change the whole face of this. It is, Baba said, uh, my center is in the hearts of my lovers. You know, so whoever is here loving Baba, you are the center, you know. But at any rate, so, so time passes on and all of the pandemic. And then I had a, someone had given me an iPad and I used it. I was kind of was afraid of it, or, you know. And um, it flatlined just when the pandemic came. And Tina says, I'm going to put your name on the board, uh, see if someone has a, a spare computer. Well, that's what I'm looking at you all on this Xerxes. <laughs> he said, Baba told me to send you this iPad. It's fabulous. I mean, you know, as those things go. But um, then I had to, now this is not everyone, but I don't like the energy it emits. You know, I had to get flower essences to be able to deal with it. And I don't care what anyone says, oh no, that's not, it was so, yeah. So anyway, uh, I, I love, and you know, I was kind of reviving, it helped me revive to think of it as, the blue bus that we are all squeezed together and focused on Baba. And yes, we will have flat tires. We will have God only knows on the blue bus. But it, there were a lot of people in that blue bus and now it's a universal blue bus war. And I, I love that. And it even has Baba on the back. So, uh, you know, getting accustomed to it and, you know, trying to relate. I, I know Jeff had a time of it. He had to have, he had to have help, Jeff. <laughs> you know, I have a personal helper with the iPad because I don't know I do stuff and it's like flat lines or woo. And I can do a couple things, you know. But in any way, I'm, I'm grateful for it. Uh, the the sharing of hearts what i love is you can you can be muted and sing along and not freak someone out because they like operatic singing and not jazz or whatever you know it's such a real grace you know you don't physically get abrasive to other people that's good you know so it's like a whole whole different thing but i mean this baba's turned the world upside down it's upside down you know everyone's trying to figure out and it is such a grace for us these links 
all these links. And I've met people in India and Los Angeles at the center from all over the world. And I'll miss that, not going to the center and seeing them. There it is. They're all there. Anyway, uh, so grateful for what is adjusting to what is and that's I'm sure a lot of you have had an adjustment you know it's like whoa okay Baba <laughs> what's next you know and uh, I don't know what's next but the the grace of the strength of the sharing from the heart and the opportunity to have all this time to delve in like i i love the nothing and the everything that's my cup of tea i, I don't want to dissect i thought that's for me the nothing and the everything that baba was the mischievous chicken we're all following we're all following anyway so grateful jay bob everybody <laughs> jay baba dear rosalie i remember seeing the ceiling in your house when you first came on and then eventually <laughs> it into your face and I was just so ecstatic to see you and as always sister it's beautiful <laughs> there were words beyond thank you thank you thank you Baba and thank you Angela most of my fantasies have never come true Baba himself is beyond any fantasy I could ever have. But you created a masterpiece fantasy when I think about it. And this thought has been going through my mind for a few minutes. Angela, with the beautiful, loving pillars of Jeff Wolverton and Cassandra and Ruth and Rashani and others, I can't mention them all, you really created this incredible masterpiece within masterpieces within masterpieces with all the gatherings and the meetings and the concerts and the beautiful meetings that Jeff has on Tuesday nights and Sunday nights that I fortunately can go to occasionally. It's a little late for me, but I go sometimes. You know, we all sometimes think about, gee, a fantasy of this or a fantasy of that, but I could have never even fantasized what you were able to in reality create such a creative loving spirit that baba placed through you i've never met anybody as patient as you i mean other people have mentioned it i've never met a, anybody who was i don't want to i mean you're such a baba 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 lover you, 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 I mean, I haven't ever said this to you directly. You epitomize, and I know you're as human as you know a human can be. But for my experience of you, the Oklahoma gathering at that Sabbath in that extremely hot Oklahoma weather, I know we had a little conversation, and you gave me a beautiful, perfect answer. And as the years went by, you know, it's all of us. Wow. I mean, the people that you've cultivated here from AJ singing that beautiful song today and each one of us, Seppi and on and on, I'd like to mention everybody here. I'm just listening and it's like, everybody is both this beautiful rose of fragrance and this bunion tree of Baba's strength and this oceanic love of Baba's infinite love. And I'm like listening, <laughs> I'm just blown away by the songs that Michelle sings and the other fellows who have been singing, Alan, Ray, and I, I can't recall all of them, but it's like, wow. For me, to have my heart opened every time I am with you all in whatever gathering, and it always is opened so beautifully, it's like, To me, the most two important, three important things in life are to have that relationship with God and Baba, to have love and to have family and to have a loving family like we have become 
one of the greatest treasures in the world. I mean, we have people who we love within our own bloodlines and close friends. This is such an extraordinarily precious, unique, unbelievable, never to be even creatively fantasized in the most brainstorming gathering under normal circumstances. And what Bob did was create a silver lining that became platinum gold through the pandemic. And voila, this has happened, which is not so voila. It took a lot of work, a lot of patience, a lot of endurance. And uh, I think it's time for me to stop, Angela, because my wife, if she heard me speaking this way, she said, Jeff, enough already. But it's not enough, but I am going to make it enough. <laughs> yeah, it's been beyond enough. <laughs> Okay, Baba, and thank you all, and thank you, Angela, and thank you, all of your pillars. Actually, we're all pillars here, but some are extraordinary. Well, anyway, there goes the judging mind. We are all one. Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. This is like an extraordinary gift that you brought to us. Extraordinary. Really. J. Baba, everyone. <laughs> J. Baba. Beautiful, Jeff. You have a way. You have a way with words, brother. Thank you. And I just wanted to have a shout out here for a moment for someone that we have not thought about in all of this. And that is Cliff, who has managed to put up with our taking his sweetheart and all her time. And now what is he supposed to do? I guess he plays, but still. Hey everybody, Jay Baba. Jay Baba. So, so I uh, I have been very moved uh, throughout the year what what this has uh, become and and what it's meant for everyone bringing Baba to so so many people that are lonely, so many different situations in the pandemic, and you know, you know we kind of forget almost what it was like last spring. Um, you know, how rough is this? And the whole thing has been on everyone. We just sort of got used to it. Um, and I've watched Angela just, you know, straight ahead, like I've watched her do so many things and especially Baba work that she does a lot of different Baba work. Um, so I, uh, I really, I have looked forward very much to, uh, it's like being on a pilgrimage. It's, you know, you run into somebody at Myrtle Beach or in, India, or if we'd go to a Sahaba somewhere. And, but it, it's like every day and it doesn't end. And you can do it whenever, whenever you, you can, you feel like doing it. And it's, it's almost better in some ways. Um, like for example, look at Jeff Wolverton. Now Jeff looks great. He's got a nice shirt on. He looks like Jeff, but Jeff doesn't have pants on. He doesn't even have to, he could just get out of bed and only, <laughs> only kidding, but, uh, but it's like literally, you, it's so convenient. And uh, especially if you have good internet and uh, you know, I thank Angela for all she has done uh, for, with all this and being such a big part of my life. So anyway, and thank you for everybody here who has been running meetings and uh, really been very meaningful for me. Jay Baba. Jay, spoken, uh, like, spoken like a true Zoom widower. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the size of it. <laughs> well, I wanted to take a moment and just say um, one or two things briefly. First of all, I came here because I was scared to death. When the pandemic first hit, I was so frightened about what would happen to all of us. And I found this, I think I saw it on Facebook that there were arty prayers. Well, I need arty prayers. I say them but myself each day, but I just thought what an incredibly great thing. I need to pray. I knew I needed to pray. So I found my way here. And um, well, I could just say that it was Angela's sweet, loving, manner, gentle manner, and she was here consistently. And I said, you know, can I help before you burn out? 
And she said, oh, I already have, I have a plan for that, she said, or something to that effect. And I came on board and I'm so grateful that I did. Um, for everything that everyone has said, for all the beautiful music concerts of ever, that were provided for the platform, for music and literature and art, everything. Baba has been so sweet to us. This has been like visiting people at the center for me. I feel like I'm in the original kitchen when I come here and I look at all of you and you all look great. And then you bring something and it's so sweet of Baba. You just bring yourself, you bring your stories, you bring all your love here. And I feel like I'm sitting in a room, it's very intimate. And I can't wait, you know, if Baba provides that there'll be a time where I will be in the original kitchen or in the boathouse and down the hill will come Charlege. Any of you, just all of a sudden, Betty will walk into the boathouse or I'll see Marsha in the original kitchen and we'll just like run up and hug. You know, we have made such incredible links here. Baba has laid such cable in this cable that's called the internet. So I'd like to do this song and Jim Meyer says always as he plays it, this is for all of you out there. It's called The Lovers. They travel on the rivers, travel on the rails, they travel in the air and on the sea. They travel the long distances through valleys and through vales to finally rest at their beloved's feet. Finally rest at their beloved's feet. Some of them are beggars, some of them are kings, most of them are somewhere in between. Sometimes they are lonely in their wanderings Still they're ever driven by the dream They're the seekers They're the pilgrims They're the lovers They're the children They find their way to places where wise men fear to tread. They enter realms where few have ever been. They're helpless and they're hopeless, far less alive than dead. Yet the rest of their journey lies within. They sing songs of the new life, inviting calamities. They shun all worldly hopes, lusts, greeds, and fears. Their melody is suffering. They seek pleasing only God. For the music of surrender is all he hears. Their companions, they're fearless. Their comrades, they're peerless. Your companions, your fearless, your comrades, your peerless. They worship at the altar, no mosque or church can hold. Their prayers are often signs of love's sweet sad tale. They worship a beloved whose beauty is untold, but whose face is hidden deep behind self's veil. The lovers love with passion, the lovers love with heat. They wear their open hearts upon their sleeves. They hurl their reckless body headlong down love's street. Never do they look to see who grieves. They're the fire, he's the ocean. Their desire, 
his devotion in beginning less beginning when time and space were not the infinite existence was asleep from imagineless imagining sprung lovers like you and me to travel through the valleys and the vales. Our journey is in awakening to God's infinity, so God himself finds pleasure in love's sweet sad tales. He's awakening in his lovers, their hearts are breaking when they're uncovered. He's awakening in his lovers, their hearts are breaking when they're uncovered. J. Baba, Baba's lovers. Okay, uh, let's see. Alan Ray, pal, you're up. Ruth, that was gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to give a shout out to Cliff. I know that uh, you uh, more frequently attend the evening RTs, and I am uh, stuck on the morning RTs. So uh, I miss you, bro. And uh, Finally, Angela, uh, if you want to get a, a clearer picture, a better sense of who Angela is, I encourage you to read her biography, her autobiography, Shouting Out. And uh, uh, Angela would be more than happy to tell you uh, how you can access that. Um, but I, I was very, very surprised. Uh, I anticipated that, uh, that the tale of Angela's life would go in a particular direction. And being Angela, it didn't go there. So I'm going to say no more. Get the book and uh, standing out. Standing out. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Thank you, Alan Ray. Standing out. He is does indeed. Roshni, he, you're still up. Yes. <laughs> Just couldn't leave with all these heartful sharings that were happening. <laughs> and as I always say, this Indian stretchable time of Jai Baba at Samadhi also. You are still two hours over there on the hill and not yet gone. So uh, I just wanted to, before actually leaving, <laughs> sing these two little happy birthday lines. For the year of inner net that we have had with Baba and this entire phase of unlocking the lock within in this lockdown in Baba's love. So happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, from old Baba lovers and new, from old Baba lovers and new. May Baba's love be with you and happiness too. Happy birthday. And I'm able to sing like Tim and Angela and Ruth and Michelle in the time to come. Sing like That's right. That's right. Oh, and, and the wow! And bathroom come bedroom come samadhi singer converted. <laughs> yes, it's, good. it's all good. And Jeff, yes, that bathroom visit was actually very famous. Now it's been, it's been yeah. recorded. <laughs> it wasn't even his own bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 
thank you so much thank you angela and uh, everyone each and everyone for sharing your baba love you thank you so God much bless us and everyone thank you roshani in, yeah. in in hindi there are two lines with, uh, which i would like to just say before going sab me rab dikhta hai mehar teri mehar se सब में रब दिखता है मेहर तेरी मेहर से सजदे सर झुकता है मेहर तेरी मेहर में सब में रब दिखता है मेहर तेरी मेहर से ओ मेहर बाबा ओ मेहर बाबा ओ मेहर बाबा ओ मेहर बाबा सब में तू दिखता है मेहर तेरी मेहर से इट्स थ्रू योर मर्सी दैट आई सी यू इन एवरी वन ओ मेहर इट्स फॉर योर मर्सी दैट आई कैन सल्यूट एंड बाउ to the baba within each and every one who i know and i meet avtar meher baba ki jai good night and good day everyone in baba's love thank oh, you so much before you go before you go one more special thing one more okay <clears throat> meher brahma meher vishnu मेहर देवो महेश्वर मेहर साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री मेहर नम तस्म श्री मेहर नम तस्म श्री मेहर नम नमो नारायणाय हरि हरि मेहर शेखराय नमो नारायणाय हरि हरि मेहर शेखराय पर ब्रह्म नमो मेहरो पर ब्रह्म नमो मेहरो सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो ओ सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो 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 सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो ओ सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो नमो नारायणाय हरि हरि मेहर शेखराय नमो नारायणाय हरि हरि मेहर शेखराय पर ब्रह्म मेहर नमो पर ब्रह्म मेहर नमो सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो सचिदानंद नंद मेहरो अवतार मेहर बाबा की जय दस ब्यूटीफुल रश्मि थैंक यू स्वीट बाबा ड्रीम्स टू यू टुनाइट Wow. You know Priya's been quiet but I know she has certainly melted me when she's read her poetry. Uh but before that though I think we have a very 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 special appearance who's been waiting incredibly patiently. Who is this? Hello. It's Uncle Lemmy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I am so, so thankful that you uh, had such appreciation from humanity, and I thought I'd lend my spirits from the animal kingdom. So, happy Baba to you! Happy Baba to you! Happy Baba, my sweetheart! Happy Baba to you! Jewish wife, Chicago with his Jewish wife who sings beautiful songs with a guitar. <laughs> Um, I want to give a shout out to Marge and Jack, which we haven't heard from. And Margie is our dearest, dearest prayer walla. And Jack's guzzles just send me every time. And Snowball, of course, chiming in. But I hope they're well. And Jay Baba, and thank you so much. You fill my day. Every I, my day is just like I need a Jack Guzzle, I need a March prayer. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> All of you, Jay Bob. Jay Bob. I see their names here. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've been so enjoying this. And I'm working on a prayer, and uh, Snowball says meow to you all, and especially to uh, the kitty cats. And um, we love you, and we're so grateful to everybody for this incredible, incredible um, experience. Jack gave me the word. Thank you. We're so grateful to you, both of you, for what you bring every day. Thank you, Marge and Jack. And Priya, can I call on you? I don't mean to be... Absolutely. Jai Baba. Hey Baba. What an evening it has been. What an evening. Every share is like a celebration. Wow. I mean, back there I was literally trembling because there is only so much of his love that you can experience in one go. And um, there's nothing more I could say that's not already been said, but as a new Baba lover, this has been like the most incredible and unimaginable ascent of my life. My heart has grown so much and the deeper connections that I have found here beyond time and space. The incredible intimate sharings, you know, the impulse to share our interior world with each other, that active act of being vulnerable. I mean, that's absolute love. And I've seen that, I've received it. Every gathering is its own heartbeat, it's its own joy. And I have learned so much about Baba. I have so quickly learned to probably love him the right way, or at least put that intent out there. And each one of you have just enriched my life with your love, with your tears, with your laughter, with your jokes, <laughs> with your bathroom Zoom calls, or, you know, Jay showing us in the kitchen and with the kids and, you know, Yasmin and Roshni driving us to Marabad, to Prakash showing us, you know, the caves, the after party party. I mean, if <laughs> I have never felt that I have so many people, that there is a sense of belongingness. I never felt even for a second. And I'm new, I'm young, I don't know. <laughs> Each one of you is truly my mandalay. Thank you, each, each one of you. And like Angela said, love is the final word. And love is this family and you all. Thank you. Jai Baba. Jai Baba Priya, so beautifully said. Thank you so much. 
I was hoping you'd read one of your poems, but you don't have anything. All right, ne next time. Huh? All right, uh, Marge, Marge and Jack, Jay Baba. Beautiful, beautiful sharings, everybody. Here is um, a prayer that, a birthday prayer that I prayed for some of you, and now I pray for all of us on this incredible birthday. Loving God, you created all the people of the world, all of us. You know each of us by name. We thank you for all of us, all of those who helped start this program, Angela, all the hosts and hostesses and, and um, all the participants, all the people who come and share and just listen, all those today who celebrate this incredible birthday of this Zoom program. Bless all of us with your love and friendship that we may all grow in your wisdom, knowledge, and grace. Help heal, protect us, and clear us from all dis-ease. And we pray this for the whole world and help us all to love you more and more to remember, to remember you, to trust in you, and to ask for your help. We love you. Help us love you more. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen, Mar. Beautiful prayer. Thank you so much. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. So good to be here with you all. Um, you know, we talk about family, and this is such a beautiful family to be part of. Um, and it's interesting about families because I don't know about you, but um, well, in my family, there are a lot of there are I have cousins who I haven't seen in twenty years or so, and you would think that being so far apart, we'd be disconnected. But I know that any one of them could come to my front door. And they, you know, they would be welcome. They could walk in, and we would just start up as if um, we'd have a lot of catching up to do. But the connection is there, and I think that this, this particularly RT has really um, built a family. We were all connected anyway, but now we see each other, and um, by spending time daily with each other, with people we may not have been drawn to in another environment. We see each other, we listen to each other, each person gets time to be heard um, and to listen to others. And it's just been such a lovely weaving together of hearts that um, it's become very strong for a lot of us. And it certainly meant a lot to me to get to know all of you and to be part of this family, Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba, thank you, Diana. You are part of our family. I think you're my sister for sure. I just feel close to everyone here and I know everyone's expressing the same thing. So fortunate that Baba has given us this opportunity. I was but uh, this is so, um, I mean, it, it's so touching and, and this is, you know, it's interesting. Someone said to, to Erich, is, is Baba going to become a religion? And Erich said, no, Baba was adamant this time that it not become a religion. So, so how can we keep it from becoming a religion? And Erich said, if his lovers would get together in small groups and share their mystical experiences, it could be averted. But, you know, back then, I mean, this was in early 70s, he used the word spirit, mystical, but to share our inner experiences, to share our hearts, because you can't make a religion out of all the unique expressions of the heart. And this way, this will... <clears throat> So when Baba comes in 700 years, or if not before, we will have been talking about him for 700 years. And we'll, we'll know just what to say and what not to say. 
anyway thank you this is so touching oh I had to fight back the tears and uh, just to hear all of this and uh so let's let's see if we can make it through another year <laughs> uh, yeah this has been like a spring hey, for me into the new year yeah spring in this new year this this whole experience of everyone here has lifted me to spring me forward and i'm so grateful to to zoom and angela and all of you and most yeah. importantly baba yeah i think jack or snowball has something they wanted to if jack will start we may hear from snowball <laughs> yeah this uh i was i really couldn't think of anything appropriate to say until about a minute ago and this puzzle kind of sums it all up. We are all in this together. So come with me to Mirabad and the Samadhi. Oh, beloved, I sit beside your body in this hallowed earthly place. So many musings fill my mind. It becomes difficult for my heart to keep a pace this quintessential space cadet with nowhere to start. Could you, my useless mind, to shut, open my heart, and suffer my feelings to flow, and my song, my voice, be that from my deepest gut, else all this music, this verse, is naught but a pretense of show. But what I'm about to express is so very, very precious to me. It has to do with people, most especially with you. For like an unchained melody, your love for me sets me free. And all these acquaintances and attachments of the past seem to vanish as if on cue. Oh, beloved, oh, beloved, there were so many as leaves on a tree. And of true friends, maybe one or two. And most of us are lucky if we can count on three. But into my life you came. And would you believe I've, not got, I've now got a whole slew. So when I look around, I see little else but real friends. Some without names. Yet all was your love gazing from their eyes. For this is the new, the new humanity, the beginning of the world's trend. They all say hi, jai, bonjour, a host of myriad tongues. And I say, oh beloved, another day in this incredibly insane paradise. Oh fortunate follower, have I not told you what I would do? when you hold fast my demand. My love, my silence speaks in the eyes of lovers mine. So continue to hold fast always and from now on. And all of you will come home to me and forever drink my wine. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. That was just astounding. I'm sure everybody feels the same way. Just we're so grateful to both you and Marge and Snowball. And I have a little song that I sang at the Samadhi and Monsari loved it so much. She had me sing it many times. I learned it in Girl Scouts. It's a short round. <clears throat> Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. That's how I feel you all, feel about you all. You are all my treasures. Thank you, Marge. We treasure you, honey. It's a tavern full of love. 
it was that way from the beginning. Baba is just pouring and pouring and pouring love. And it's so beautiful. And it's giving us all the, the ability and the possibility for sharing love and accepting love and giving love. And it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Angela. Magic. Magic. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Yeah, I agree. Magic is the key word. And wow is the other key word. <laughs> it's, I, I, I'm just going to make some totally unprepared remarks here. <laughs> but all the love that pours forth is phenomenal. And granted, you know, I, I have ideas and I find people to make it happen. But without your participation and your love and your love for Baba and the love and acceptance of each other, none of this would be possible. We all make these meetings actually real and meaningful. And the fact that we can meet relatively easily across all boundaries of, of time zone and geographic location and the recordings can be watched by people who don't have access to Zoom and don't have access to fine computers and, and fancy devices. It's just amazing to me that quote that Wayne Myers found about Baba appearing in all of our homes and in thousands of places at the same time. He said it right there. This meeting just totally blows me away. This is everything that I remotely thought was possible already come to fruition from like the minute that we started and just on and on and getting bigger and greater and deeper and more and more love and, <laughs> and Roshni is saying wower and wower. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a phenomenal three hours of just outright sharing of love and pouring it all forth, the gratitude and the, the wonderment. It's phenomenal. Well, we're just beginning. There's so many more directions we can go. As you all come up with ideas, let's put it into action. As we come up with ways that we can serve each other, let's do that. Let's find opportunity to, to bring Baba's love here in this, our everyday experience. Why not? What are we waiting for? <laughs> Jay Mayor Baba. Hey, Baba, you know there's been a request for you to do the Artie song. Do you think you could pull that off? I could do that. The Wow or Artie Hour. So for those who don't know this song, the the key word, of course, is wow, -er, which Michal invented. <laughs> she said that Artie was getting wow -er and wow. -er. So after Artie one day, a bunch of us were were uh, riffing on that word and came up with all these rhymes and so this song was born out of that. Life is sweet and sour, Baba the perfect flower, says now don't be dour, come to the arty hour, which just gets wild. Just melt into rubble, thus all our differences vanish into nothingness. Baba, sweet caress, worry vanishes. A great game of chess for him who loves you best. Life just gets wild. We are his chipmunk.
ashes melt into rubble thus all our differences vanish into nothingness life is sweet and sour baba the perfect flower says now don't be dour come to the arty hour oh it just gets wild Jay Baba, thank you, Cliff. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. That was fun. Jay Baba. 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 Jay Ba